Hey, good Monday morning to you. It's about 11.30 a.m. and I just got all the items put outside. I only sold a couple items last night. One was like a $15 DVD box set that I got out of the free bin. Shout out to the free bin. And there was a couple other small items, but nothing major. I do need to run that Osterizer blender down to the FedEx Center today. Otherwise, it's going to cost too much to send it via USPS. Now, I'm just working on this game right here that I picked up Saturday called Five Straight, that vintage 1968 game. I wasn't sure if uh, everything was there, but the closer I look, it seems like everything's fine. I counted all the cards, and there's 0 through 99 like they're supposed to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and take pictures of this thing and try to get my 40 bucks. And then we're going to shoot this thing down to the FedEx and check out the Salvation Army. And hopefully we can find something. Hey, what's happening? It's about 12.05 p.m. And it's about 56 degrees, so it's a little bit chilly. But I'm going to shoot over to the thrift store and see if we can't find a little of that golden green. All right, it's 1.01 p.m. and I just got out of the Salvation Army for the first time today and I gotta say it was a filop. I was looking at some Rubbermaid containers that they had but they were kind of trashed. I mean they were just like spotted up, scratched, scraped. A nun for me, a thank you. Then there was a vintage GE ice cube tray with the handle that you lift it up out of the uh, freezer with but it wouldn't go completely down and I'm like look I don't want to buy this damn thing and it ain't working right but generally they do sell for really good money and when I say good money 10 bucks plus shipping but I'm not ready to give up yet guys we did spend the 8 bucks today so we may as well try to make our money back at the very least I really didn't expect to find very much to begin with because it is Monday, they were closed yesterday, so I don't know. It's the FOMO guys, the FOMO. Or maybe Jimmy just came in and uh, wiped the place out before I got here. Alright, it's 2.07pm and I didn't find a single thing over there today, so I'm just going to go home and start uh, doing something on eBay. I listed that vintage game this morning, that one from 1968. I listed it for $44.95. I'm surprised though, I didn't find a single thing out here today. I had nothing. I thought I'd buy at least a couple items, but nothing here. So that's just how it is at this thrift store sometimes, guys. If I lived uh, in a bigger area, I'd just go to like three or four more thrift stores until I found some stuff, but more than a thrift isn't open on Monday or Tuesday, so nothing here. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm just going to shoot out of here and see what I can get into. Peace. Hey, good evening. It's 10.05 p.m. over here at the Hacienda at the old chalet on the mountain. I'm just working on a few of these death pile items that I purchased last week. I just put some comment on these Lazy Susan Rubbermaid pieces. And uh, actually, they cleaned up pretty well. A lot of the dirt and grime got off there. Uh, there's still some spots and whatnot from just, you know, being old and what it would have you. But they look pretty good. Preferably, I'd like to just sell these five pieces as a set. And I'm going to try to sell them that way. We'll see. It has not been a very profitable day. I think I'm only at $16 in sales for the day. So I'm trying to get a few items listed tonight. I'm hoping I can also get these two Franklin Spellers listed tonight. These shouldn't be too hard to test. I just need to get it done. Good morning. I hope everybody's doing well today. It's Tuesday morning, and it's the next day. It's 10.36 a.m., and we're currently at 56 degrees in the Keene, New Hampshire area. I'm definitely not going to be going to the thrift store today. Yesterday was a complete washout. Didn't find a single thing. So there's no reason for me to go today. I've got plenty of things to do here at the house. The only thing I sold overnight was a set of two Duracell vintage flashlights. I made a video a while back that was about lotting things together. And in a video I put these two Duracell flashlights together. And they ended up selling for $17.99 plus $5.95 shipping. A few years ago those flashlights actually sold really well. The smaller one always sells better than the larger one. But I remember a few years ago, there was none listed, and I threw one up there for 
and it sold like within a four month period and just as soon as that happened and people started looking them up and seeing that there were sold comps on them they started putting them up there and next thing you know you can't even sell them for 10 bucks anymore and that's how it works guys I've seen trends come and go I've started trends and watched them die I've seen quite a few things in reselling for sure but today instead of going anywhere I'm just gonna work on some of the items that I've got so today I want to get these two electronic dictionaries listed I've got this item, uh, it's a tablet, a leapfrog tablet, it works great. Uh, a friend of mine that I met over at the Savers at the Coast gave that to me for free. And I think it sells for like 40 bucks. I really miss going down there, but there was just too much drama for me. Then I've got to put this uh, Norelco razor up on eBay today. It works good, it just needs to be plugged in. Uh, then I'm going to try to list this Sony Handycam today. I think we can get that done, it's already pretty much tested. I think the hardest part's going to be uh, trying to figure out what the deal is with this Lego Technic thing. This has been in my death pile for quite a while. I picked this up over six months ago for uh, $8.99, but I would have used uh, a $2 survey or a coupon. Basically, I just need to find out what's going on with this. Uh, it's opened. I don't know why I would have bought it. Okay, this definitely might not have been a great idea. But, you know, when I, whenever I was at Savers, I was full of not great ideas, so I'm sure we could do something with this damn thing. We'll find out. And then the last absolute must-do is I need to take this uh, block of knives here. I had these individually listed, but they're just not selling at all. There's actually six of them, not five. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell them as a set, and hopefully they sell, because I really want to get rid of them. And it would be nice if I could list some extra items out of that green tub today. We'll just have to see what we can do, guys. I shall check in periodically. Hey, how's it going tonight? It's 10 p.m. and I'm over here at the light table. I'm just doing a little bit of work. I can't remember if I showed you guys earlier, but uh, one of my goals today was to work on this Lego Technic. And I wasn't even really sure where to start. I, I bought this thing a long time ago, and I didn't know what I was going to do with it. But I ended up taking all the parts out and separating them a little bit. And it says this is a 281 piece set. But I actually counted 286 pieces. I believe everything's there. But I'm going to go ahead and throw it up as is or for parts. And I'm going to try to get 40 or $50 plus shipping. And I'm not sure how it's going to do. But hopefully somebody will look at it and say hey you know what that's a complete set and if that happens I can get my payday alright so I've just got a few items photographed and I feel like today's been a really productive day even though I didn't spend more than just about four or five hours uh, altogether working I recently just took photos of this guy right here it's been tested it's photographed I just need to get it up uh, this is a really nice item it's a compresso milk frother and it works good I frothed up some milk for my hot cocoa it was nice uh, then of course I got this and I just did the um, the pictures on this uh, Sony Handycam camcorder so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put that stuff up on eBay those will be some pretty good money items which I need right now a big time not sure if I'll be going to the thrift store tomorrow but there's a good possibility I won't I really want to start thinking about going down to South Carolina so I'm still doing the planning for that but that's definitely gonna happen I gotta get down there and hit them bin stores alright guys I'm about beat but before I go to sleep I want to try to get these things posted so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow you guys have a good night